We turn now to our Spirit of Southern Arizona series, and this morning we're sharing the story of an inspiring boy. I spoke to the parents of Carlos Valencia, the teen who touched the community with his spirit and whose legacy lives on. He was always funny, always cracked you up. Ford and Cecilia Valencia are talking about their son, Carlos. He taught us what life was all about, what, what life matters to to us and to everybody. Carlos was 12 years old when he started getting bruises on his legs. And then all of a sudden he was sick, so he was missing school. He didn't feel like getting up from bed. Cecilia tells me they went to see the doctor and that's when things turned serious. Carlos was right there and I didn't want him to worry about what the doctor was saying. So when we hung up, I couldn't help myself. I kind of started crying a little bit and he goes, what's the matter, mom? And I told him, I said, well, you know, you're really sick. Devastating news. And then that's when they found out he had leukemia. As treatment began, Carlos and his parents took on the battle. Because all those blood drives that they did, he always said that if there was nobody that could help him, at least they were helping others like him that needed that help. He was a fearless warrior. You know, he was very positive. He he knew the challenge. And Ford says for a year, Carlos was fine, and then he relapsed. It was very hard because when we went into the clinic that day and he had to get his own cells back, I could see he was devastated that he was losing the battle and he wanted to cry, but knowing because I was there, he was trying to hold back. Staying strong, the family was touched to see how the community came out to support them. He was amazed at how many letters he got and cards, get well cards, and people wanting to pray for him to get better. So that was amazing. We were in shock when he died, and uh, we didn't thank the community like we should have, uh, and this is the time to thank him and a thank you for being there when they needed it the most. And he brought a lot of joy and excitement. Uh, but for one moment, we turned away. <laughs> and he was gone. <laughs> it was very special. They hope to continue to see Carlos and his legacy live on. A big thank you to Cecilia and Ford for sharing their story. You know, it was very tough.